Let's head to Wales, should we, where Plaid Cymru is calling on voters there to give them a similar voice in Westminster as the SNP has managed to secure for people in Scotland. Or Plaid's Westminster leader, Liz Savile Roberts, joins me now from Blenau Festiniog in Snowdonia. Very good to see you this morning. That, it's a very big ask, isn't it, when you've got four seats at the moment and they're all marginal to... To ask for a similar sort of standing as the SNP has in Scotland, is it, it's a very big challenge. I think, of course, we, we, we had four members of Parliament in the last Parliament. I, I hope we'll have four. I hope we'll have five. We may even have more. But the one thing that I would say, and, of course, I think anybody who watched the, the leaders' debates last night would have felt this too. You know, for an, an area like Blainefestinioge, where we are today... It's a post-industrial area, it used to be very much the slate industry, now very dependent on tourism. And for Wales as a whole, and you listen to Boris Johnson and Jeremy Corbyn last night, and you honestly feel that for areas like this, where is their voice? And that's what I'm proud to say. For the, 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 the four Plaid MPs that we had in Wales, we made sure that areas, you know, Wales for us, obviously, Plaid Cymru, Plaid Cymru, Wales matters most for us. It's in the name. It's easy to imagine. But there are so many places that are being disregarded. And there's one thing that for those four MPs that we had in Westminster, we did something which the Tories have never done, and I'm afraid to say that, that Jeremy Corbyn doesn't do either. We worked with other parties, and we worked with other parties to make sure the legislation made, went through that Boris Johnson had to go back to negotiate with Europe because... Although he's talking about getting Brexit done, earlier this year he would have been very happy to get Brexit done to mean to leave without a deal. But we worked with others and we made sure that for a place like Blainefestiniog that voted to remain, Duvo Merionev, Gwynedd, our constituencies that voted to remain, that they had a fair voice in Westminster. Yeah, but that, forgive me, that's a, that's a difficult sure line for Plaid Cymru to be pushing, isn't it? When you look at Wales as a whole, Wales as a country, voted for Brexit. You, you say you're the voice for Wales. Look, well, like you're, will, you're not, are, you're not like are you? If you're such a, such a strong Remain party, why aren't you listening to what the people of Wales actually said in 2016? Well, just look back at the time when Wales had the first opportunity to vote for its own parliament, which is something that Plaid Cymru adamantly believed in, believes in. In 1979, the people of Wales did not vote for that parliament. But we didn't give up, because that was our principle and that was our belief. That was the, the core purpose, if you like, of Plaid Cymru at the time, to do the best for Wales and to make sure that no damage is done to Wales. Because Labour won't do that. Heaven knows Labour has been representing Wales for 100 years. They've had power in the Assembly in Cardiff for 20 years. And how much the better are we for it? And we know... We know Johnson's not going to put the interests of Wales first. Now, we know that any form of Brexit will do damage to the, the, the fragile economies of places like Blaine, Festiniog and Merthyr Tidville across Wales. We believe that. Those are our principles. That's why we've worked with others in this election to do something that is really difficult political parties I mean, I mean, to work together. Think, forgive me for, inter forgive me for interrupting, but what about You're the people who turn around and say... We work on principle. Forgive me, but what about the people who turn around and say, actually, what about the damage to democracy if Brexit isn't carried out? Because people will rightly ask, what is the point of voting again in any future referendum or indeed any election? Not my thoughts, the thoughts of Leanne Wood, your former leader. Well, of course, and that's why my party is arguing for a confirmatory referendum to use democracy. We're now three years and more Could down the road. Leanne, Leanne Wood said the result We're was not narrow second, enough to be overturned or called election. into question. And the vote as it stands, we've had the leave argument that we must move ahead with this tiny majority. Boris Johnson is abusing democracy in the way he twists and turns the truth. That is the simple fact. We need to remould our democracy into the future. We need to bring this back to the people for this major, major choice that we are facing presently. But the one thing that I will say going around this constituency, but across Wales as well, is this sense that Westminster 
is desperately failing our communities. And when you see the argument last night, one man utterly lacking all conviction and the other just saying half-truths, untruths, unsubstantiated economic fan fantasy. There is a question in Wales now. Westminster, okay, you've told us you can serve us well in the past, but you're not serving us well now. The time does come when we look to think, couldn't we do this better ourselves? I'm, I'm slightly confused because you've, you've talked a lot about how important it is that Plaid has been prepared to work with other parties, yet you've just described Jeremy Corbyn as being a man uh, utterly without conviction in the debate last night. If there is a hung parliament, or indeed a very narrow majority for the Conservative Party, I can't work out from what you're saying whether Plaid would be prepared to support Jeremy Corbyn to prop him up in number 10 or not. Well, I'll tell you one thing, we would never support Boris Johnson because go back about two months and we were trying to impeach him for his uh, misuse of, uh, of facts and the truth, his abuse of the truth. When it comes to working with others, we will work as a political party does on the basis of issues, not of personalities, not even necessarily of party interests. Our priority in this election is to get a confirmatory referendum. And then we also have a set of costed proposals in terms of revenue spend and infrastructure spend in Wales that would include electrifying the railways, looking at a new railway between Carmarthen and Aberystwyth, a whole tranche of proposals that would make people's lives better here and the sort of spend you need central government to do to make sure you have a decent economy in these areas that have been left behind, taken for granted by Labour and just ignored by the Tories. Liz Savile-Roberts, good to talk to you. Thank you.